Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we just arrived but didn't explore the Wish House Orphanage, the orphanage run by the cult. Yeah, it's uh, not a good place. <laughs> Pretty sure they're using the orphans to try to birth another version of that god that they put in Alessa. But before exploring there, I just went off in this direction and went through a bunch of like little segments where we went through gates and there were no enemies. It's like three or four segments where there's no enemies or really basically nothing to do at all, which is suspicious. Makes me think when we go back through the area, something's going to happen, which is supported by the fact that I just tried to go back towards the wish house to start the episode there, and I heard a scream in the distance, the same scream that we heard when we first came to this place. Um, so all of that's to say, let's head back to the wish house. I already went through that hole in the last episode. Let's head back towards the wish house and see what the screaming's about. Probably something horrible. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, right, dogs on this one. Just calmly walk. Good puppers. Oh, get away, bug. What is that screaming? I thought I would encounter it on the way back. Ah. Alright. So we can head out into the forest over here, if that's unlocked, or we can head inside the wish house. Let's go inside the wish house. Oh. It's locked. Well, I guess we're going into the forest then. Why is there blood here? Oh, we got floating people. Hasn't seen me yet, though. If I just... Nope, it's, it's on me. Alright, I just gotta run past these. Oh, there's another hole up here. So much blood! I don't think I need to go in the hole yet. I mean, I just came from one... Oh, hi. One of the orphans? Oh, I'm in control. Thought it was a cutscene. Something's gonna happen. That nosy guy that was here, he said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen! <laughs> yeah, I'd run too. We came from here. There's a cliff on the other side of the fence. Can't go any further. Grave has been dug here. On the bottom of the coffin are the numbers 11121. 
Well, I'm sure I need that passcode. There's stuff scattered on the ground on the other side of the fence. Like something was thrown away from over there. Yeah, those look like mannequin parts. Can't read this either. Oh, there's more mannequin parts on top of this thing. Or whatever those are. It's locked from the outside. And it's got that... I think this is the first time we've seen this symbol. The uh, original symbol that we've seen in the, the first Silent Hills. I guess the ring around the symbol is what's around the hole as well. But the three circles in the middle of it are obviously missing from the hole. Near the end of Silent Hill 3, around the Belfry, I think it was described what each of those symbols means, like each each of them represents something. I don't remember what the ring represents. Okay, I have no idea what to do. Wasn't this the last place I could go? Should I go in the hole? Oh! So yeah, what now? Oh, wait, this person's in the front of the wish house. Can I go in now? The, 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 the door won't open. True. That nosy guy g g gave me something really good. Yes. Uh, uh, I, I c could let you have it, but, 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 but not for free. Do you want chocolate milk? I'm really thirsty. Wait, do you actually want the I'm chocolate milk? So, so thirsty. Do I literally give him the chocolate milk? Chocolate. Oh my god! Oh, chocolate. <laughs> this is really ridiculous. I love it. I can't use this here. What? That is the chocolate milk, right? Am I not facing? I might not be facing him. Is that good? There we go. Oh man, that was awesome. Here, take this. There's something written on it. small spade with a bloody inscription. Written in blood is opposite where the lake and house meet, inside the hand, holding onto the ground. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the, the root hand thing. Rusted bloody key. Wait a minute. Um, inscribed on it is the holder of this key will wander for eternity. Eh. Uh, great. Also, we heard about this. I think it was Jasper's memo pet. Um, yes, if you bring the dug-up key, the thing we just got, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. So if I'm reading that right, it's saying that I can't go back 
there, which I think is home. I can't go there if I'm having if I have the key on me, which I do. So I want to know what happens when I actually do that. I did a save state. Also, there seems to be a floating person here now, but let's run away. Well, I didn't die. Do I still have it? I do. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, fending off some bugs there, Eileen? Are there bugs coming from my apartment? Whoa. What the hell is this? Maybe this is... Maybe this is what the message meant. If you bring the duck up key, you can't come back here. Maybe here is the orphanage. Am I in some sort of loop? Oh, I'm in a loop, aren't I? Yeah, this is the same place every time. Okay. So, I think I... Hmm. Do I just need to put it in that box in my apartment? Yeah. I probably put it in the box in my apartment. Come back here. Go to the wish house where there's a hole just in the courtyard. And then go through that hole, get the key, and then come back out. Okay, let's do it. Alright, let's see if that changes things. Key is off of me. We hear the scream for a third time. Okay. No fog. Okay. That's a good sign. big monster that made that noise. Yet. Alright, let me go grab the key from here. Alright, got the key. I'm assuming it's for the orphanage door. Also, it's strange how that key has so much power. It's like cursed or something. You found it, huh? Uh-huh. Let me really enjoy the chocolate milk. It gives me the chills. The milk or the key? <laughs> they probably mean the, the key. It does seem to be some sort of a cursed key. There we go. Those aren't my footsteps. Whose footsteps are those? Oh, fucking hell, dude. I didn't know you came in with me. Jesus. Looks like an oil heater. Wonder what was going on here. Yeah, it looks like they fled this place, and it's been abandoned for... A while. They still have power here, though. Electricity. It 
It's falling apart, and I can't even read most of the pages. Here's a part I can read. The second sign. And God said, Offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of the flesh, and gain the power of heaven. From the darkness and void, bring forth gloom, and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign. And God said, Return to the source through sin's temptation. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Only then will the four atonements be in alignment. Let me just go back to this line here. Return to the source through sin's temptation. Remember I got the placard of temptation right before I got to Cynthia? Holy scripture scrap. What the fuck? I don't want to go in there. Is that smoke coming out or is that like a bath- uh, not a bathroom, like a, a, a sauna? Plate on the door. Source placard. Shows a baby and says source. Let's go! Oh! It's you! Report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Homicide. Such a weird duality to it where I see things happen. In my world. And somehow those things sort of bleed over into the normal world. Right? Like, I don't see any of the normal people that I see outside of this window. Around this place. But somehow these normal people found the body. Some weird world shifting going on. And I wonder what's, what's with all these numbers. I've got three numbers now noted down, and I've never used any of them. At least two of them were... Uh, yeah, two of them were carved into bodies. One into Cynthia, and then one into that guy just now. And then the third one was on the coffin in the grave. I haven't used any of them. What are they? Are they passcodes? If so, to what? This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Help me! There's something wrong with this room! Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? What's going on here? Strange. 
the right key. Um, I'm sure I heard something in there. Yeah. That sound. It's the same one as back then. Back then? Same one as back then. They can't even unlock their own door. Also, why has another handprint been added to the wall? There's now a third line starting. Most of those look old. They're all faded and dark, but... The one on the very end of the second line looks pretty fresh, and then the one that's just been added to the beginning of the third line also looks fresh. What does that mean? Maybe the first one appeared after Cynthia died. And this one now appeared because that guy died. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to, I think, depending on where this hole now takes us, because we didn't get back here by going through a hole, I think we're going to go back to the wish house. <laughs>